be Oxford Street in regard to charter rate number one. I hope to defer, but I'm told that this may be the only chance to speak on this. So a lot of important things were supposed to happen at this meeting, and uh, among them, not to overstate things, was a test of whether our government works. Uh, specifically, is there justice to be sought in the plan E charter? Uh, are there checks and balances? Do our elected representatives have the power to issue a correct or to a road commission? Do they have the will to try, especially if the city manager's office refuses to? The order tonight called for the license commission and city solicitor's office to drop all charges against the Upper West Bar and its owners, to reconsider its package for application and to issue a public apology to Upper West and its owners, to let Upper West sit down with the city manager. Over the past five years, the commission has behaved with demonstrable malfeasance, choosing one business owner over another in public and on the record while counselors tell struggling business owners repeatedly that they cannot interfere in the marketplace. Apparently, what the city council cannot do, the license commission can. The commission has gone on to treat the owners of Upper West and the business itself differently than other businesses that appear before it. Also clearly demonstrable, the fire department, which has a sitting member on the commission, oversaw the harassment of Upper West over the mere sitting out of tea light candles for atmosphere which is allowed in Somerville and Boston, but enforced selectively in Cambridge as though candles are a, quote, imminent danger, unquote, albeit they have not been shown to be the source of a single commercial fire in history, in memory, I should say. The fire expert chosen by the city's own law department admitted to the state that its inspectors were enforcing a law that does not exist. A member of the police department sitting on the commission, meanwhile, found the owners of Upper West, quote, guilty, unquote, of saying things protected by the First Amendment, of supposedly threatening, intimidating fire inspectors, after those inspectors testified publicly immediately beforehand they had been threatened and intimidated only for the prospect of citizens filing a complaint against them. Again, the question is before you. Is there justice to be had in Cambridge? Does this council stand for good government that guarantees all citizens are treated fairly, consistently, without prejudice? Can it stop the poison of malfeasance that has spread from the commission to the fire, police, and law departments, to the PRAB, to the office of the city manager? Is this council capable of seeing the inequity and injustice that has been so obvious to so many others and acting? Perhaps the council just lacks the proper mechanism to explore and adjudicate uses of wrongdoing and corruption, we may see that too in how this order is handled. The plan of charter, we are told repeatedly, was enacted to prevent municipal corruption, but in the past five years, we seem to have discovered the limits of it. What counselors do with this order is a valuable test of whether the charter still functions and whether it needs to be a topic of discussion this election season. Thank you. Can you please email those comments? I will. Okay. Anyone else? Seeing none, on the motion by Vice Mayor Dever to close public comment, all those in favor say aye. Those opposed nay, the ayes have it. So, 